Hi everyone and welcome back. So now we can talk about other things like concurrency. That kind of we have already covered how we can scale out the process model for the Node.js. We can use PM2 or we can divide the, the processes on a different systems like horizontal scaling and a vertical scaling. But if you want to do it on a single system, then you can create a worker process and you can use PM2 for that. Disposability here we will talk about how we can do a fast startup and the graceful set down. Dev prod parity is all about how we can uh, keep the old environment like Dev QA production same and monitor the deployment of individual environment before pushing it to the, the next environment. And then the logs because these are really important how we manage the logs for the application and how we can channelize like the logs as a stream and we can store it somewhere else to visualize what is happening with the system okay so you can use so when we talk about logs is it's all about this is your node.js app and the logs can be coming in different modes like okay i just have a console I'm printing everything on the console. Okay, you can be writing the logs to the file. Or you might be sending these logs to transporting these logs to somewhere else. So there is a log stream and you are sending this log stream to some external system to analyze it. Okay. So all those things are possible and uh, we can just use a uh, multiple logging libraries. I can just think of Winston because it has all the, the transport, console transport, file transport and the transport as a stream where you can write the logs to the external system. And the logging is really important because from the logging you will know what is happening with your system, what is happening with your process. Okay. So we can add this peer, the Winston module and we can configure the different transport. So SRC, I can create a folder logging. And here we can configure all the logging aspects like how, what all different transport we are going to use for the logging, what are the different log levels and all those things. So I will just start with a simple logger. I will just create a logger.ts. And with the basic uh, logger transport and then if I just if you wanted to use this you can just simply do is a logger dot info is it not TypeScript supported should I import the uh, Winston let me try something like this so I can get the the typings Okay, first let me add this pnpm add and then you can do a logger.info logger.error and logger.warn to just log the different messages based on the requirement so here i got the typings logger.info you can see logger dot so we got all the logger.error logger.info right and you can just put a some simple message hello world you will also see how we can customize and how we can format this log message which we are seeing we can also format and we can just put a nice uh, print messages so i'm just using these formatters provided by winston and i will just try to see logger.info what it does so how to do this first we will try to build the application npm run build so if you try to see here i can just get this log message by running it and you can see nicely clean log message is coming here because we are adding this information like what is the timestamp what is the log level and what is the message in this format we are trying to print the log message so this is how you can customize the log message 
instant dot create logger the the transport is still the console you can add the the more transport like okay i want to have a file transport or the stream as a transport so we can also use uh, the file transport can i add this here in this array So it will try to write this. So let me build the first application. And if I try to do this, then it should be creating this combine.log. So file name is combine.log. It's yeah, it is generated, you can see, and the log statements here. So this is the file transport. You can actually write the the logs to a particular file. And if you wanted to have an error mode, like okay for the error files, you can also specify the modes, log level error, and here you can specify level is info. So info you can just combine info or uh, maybe simply app info and then app error if the log level is error then just log it like this if log level is info because log level you are specifying here logger dot info if you are doing a logger dot error that means that is going on to the error file and if i try to build and uh, show you And you can see it should be creating two files one is app info and app error okay i will just delete them for now so this is how you can do the file transport and based on the log levels it is just uh, putting the content into the the respective files that is based on how we are doing so you can do the log rotations and all those things also I will add this because we are writing to the file and if when you are writing the things to the file you should be able to rotate this also daily rotation does not exist on type transports okay because i'm just getting this from the documentation only new winston dot transports daily rotation so let me check this Okay, we need to add this uh, module pnpm add instant daily rotate file. After that, we can require it and we can use it. Okay, let me see if it will be able to add the types. So, the types also needed. Uh, I think we can just add the typings. I have changed the implementation a little bit to fix it. I mean, you can just import the daily rotate file and you can use this constructor directly. And this is your file formatter. I mean, uh, maximum files for 14 days in this format. And after that, it will be purged. You can just have an event also like a uh, file daily rotate transport dot on. And the, using this event, like what you need to do is when whenever you are doing rotate, and what you are going to do with the old log files that you can get here. This is old file and the new file, and you can play with these things. Okay, this is also going to be a string. This is old file name, new file name, and you can play with the old file name if you wanted to upload it to S3 or somewhere. You can upload it so this is how we can do the, the file rotation also with the help of Winston the important part in the whole uh, Winston is the transport modes like okay you can write it to the file you can write it to the console you can also use these streams to send the the logs to the external environment so this was a simple utility uh, how we are using it uh, now we can use morgan logger and the winston logger together for the application logging what we can do is here in our server.ts or app.ts we can just register this as a middleware and how we do it 
is we already have a Morgan we already have a Winston Morgan we can just import them so Morgan is actually logger which is logger middleware for the express application and here we can just create the logger I will try to move this to a different file here we are using console transport and then I can create a Morgan logger middleware So this message is of type string let's say this is doing trim and this is the Morgan middle, middleware so we can register the app instance with that so where are we middle this is where we are doing it this dot app dot use and I think we can just pass this Morgan middleware that's it so this is how we are registering a middleware so what this middleware is doing it is just using this for the HTTP logging because there are two type of log messages log messages which where we are just uh, using this logger.ts library and you can export this logger from here so you can just do export const export const logger and then this logger you can import them in any of the file wherever you are writing the logic and you can do the logger.info so let's say if i am importing this in any of one of my controllers now i will do it import logger from logging logger.ts right and then I can just use these utilities logger.infos and all so here I can just say logger.info and I can just try to log request.param similarly you can just log anything like you can just log the body just to check if all the payload properties are coming or not and one is the the logging which we are doing at the application level and another logging is the http logging like what all http requests are coming like what is the method what is the url what is the status what is the content length what is the response time all these things we can get from the morgan so it is going to give us the stream and that we are going to write to the http uh, uh, this winston logger okay so let's play with this so here we can see the logging i can just start the application and this is where we are adding this logging right in the server.ts so this is the morgan logger middleware just for the http logging purpose so that we can see what all requests are hitting our application and we can i can try something like this and you can see all the http logins are coming what is the log level http what is the message what is the timestamp and how long it takes to complete the request 97 millisecond 10 milliseconds so this is the information we are getting through this morgan logger and this stream we are passing to the winston to write the message logger.http right logger we already have i think uh, we can get the logger from our existing logger which we already have okay maybe I need to put something and I can start this and now let's try something like this so all these I think we have a console logger and the file writer also system because we are getting the logger let's try to see what has changed so this was format combined json new winston transport and okay its log level is http right so that is the difference i can just specify the log level there and write these http log level messages to the file so here we need to specify okay for the info i have this file if you wanted to have a log level http then app http i mean nobody does like this i'm just trying to play around with this winston npm run dev 
so we have a console transport here also i mean either you have a log level if the log level is info then we are just logging only the info messages if the log level is http that means we are also interested in logging the http messages coming in for the application so here we are using the same logger which we are getting from the logger.ts and we will try to write it so here if i try to hit this thing then you can see the proper structure the the log messages are coming what is the status code what is the time it took and what is the http method what is the endpoint and i think somewhat it is being written in the app http log also this is what we are writing okay so that is just a fun with the winston logger with the morgan and you can you can have a logger so that is the the whole point of this video is having a logger for your application and so maybe streaming the log somewhere so that you can visualize what is happening with your application so this is also part of 12 factor app and having the production ready application production ready service